Well, it's great to be here. And I am going to talk about connecting through voice and about adding audio and translations to your website using AWS or Amazon Web Services in order to reach a wider audience and improve accessibility. So what I'll do is talk about some of the advantages and then look at some use cases and then wrap up with how to get started. So I have a theme in the repo and I took a close look at how it was being used. And a couple of big takeaways for me were that audio was much bigger than I had anticipated, especially podcasts. And the majority of installs were in non-English. So this made me very curious to uh, dig deeper and look at some research. So here's what I found, that people consume content via speech and listening four times faster than by reading. That's from Amazon Research. And what about translations and localization? Well, 75% want products in their native language. 67% prefer or strongly prefer that at least the navigation and some content appear in their native language. And 60% rarely or never buy from English-only websites. This is from uh, Common Sense Advisory. They did a survey of uh, online shoppers across 10 non-English speaking countries. And on the importance of accessibility, more than 1 billion people worldwide have a disability. Uh, this is from the World Bank. So that is more than one in seven people, or roughly 15%. Now, those people aren't all on the internet, but they will be, most of them, many of them. So here's a couple of use cases, um, publishers that you may have heard of. Politico, they are a leading European news organization with a need to publish news very quickly. And Boarding Area is a travel blogging network with over 100 blogs around the world. Uh, in both cases, they used Amazon, Polly, and Translate to reach a wider audience. So this is a project that I've been working on. It is a... Oops, it is a website all about Paris, um, and we were specifically targeting first-time travelers and people that don't speak French. So this was really our you know, key initial question was, how do we engage readers interested in a new culture? So solution number one, we added audio. Uh, the application here was a French menu. To, to help people uh, read the menu and order in French. So initially, the author was spelling the words out phonetically. Uh, but you know, we really wanted to provide the best user experience. And we also wanted to make it a lot less tedious, obviously, for uh, the author. So I used Amazon Polly and Translate to generate the audio files and then added those to the page along with some uh, branded custom play controls. So this is uh, just the, a clip right before the actual menu. Um, a quick note on quality. The French pronunciations were perfect across the board, across the full menu of 100 words. Um, actually, the first pass, there were a couple of words that had very strange uh, French pronunciation, and it turned out that they were typos. There were some missing accent marks, uh, but that was fixed, and then it was great. Um, so in this case, Polly sort of doubled as a spelling check. And there are uh, three French voices currently available uh, with the plugin, and so I used all three just to alternate and give it a little bit of uh, variety. And this solution number two, you can either read the article or you can hit that play button and listen in French or English. So there's a number of ways uh, that you can create audio. You can 
use the WordPress Poly plugin. You can use the Amazon console, which is what you see here. Uh, you can do it on the command line, or you can write a custom app. In this particular case, uh, what I was doing was creating an audio clip for a photo caption in English, but that contains a French name. So I was uh, this this little bit of code here uh, gave did that just the way that it needed to be. Uh, there's there's actually quite a bit of control that you have here uh, if if you want to, for example create uh, some character voices, maybe you're creating a children's book, or you, you're doing some other sort of uh, creative storytelling, um, you can really get wild here. So uh, just to recap our results, we created a new channel for content so that you can listen on the website or you can listen to podcasts. You don't have to be tethered to the screen. Um, we created a wider global audience with accessible content. So somebody that is vis visually impaired, for example, can, uh, you know, can, can listen, obviously. Also, the plugin generates uh, transcripts, which work really well with screen readers. Um, quicker time to publish. So uh, professional linguists are still very much needed for certain parts of the website. But you know, sometimes you just, a fast turnaround time is critical and you may not have an extra day or two. Um, it was a better learning experience. If you're trying to learn a new language, you just have to hear it. And it was an opportunity for us to uh, you know, develop a branded UI. So uh, just real quick here, getting started with Poly, uh, you create an AWS account, which is free, install WordPress, and download and activate the Poly plugin, which you can get from the WordPress repo, or you can get it from uh, GitHub, AWS Labs. Um, and the plugin it is open source. It was jointly developed by Amazon and WP Engine. Uh, and just I'll just uh, talk about a couple of quick things here and wrap it up. So once you've activated the, uh, the plugin, you enter in your AWS credentials, hit save, and then you get a lot more, a lot more options. Um, and I think it's a great first start to, to use the defaults. There are some smart defaults here. For example, autoplay is off and automated breaths are on for that uh, human quality. And then uh, jumping ahead here, I, I'm using S3 for cloud storage and I needed to do that in order to get access to the uh, translation and the transcripts. And then you can see that there are uh, four languages supported with the plugin. More to come soon. Uh, Spanish, German, French, and Portuguese, and a variety of voices for uh, a total of 15 unique voices across those four languages. This, by the way, this last chunk here, okay, is this is this is new. This uh, translation was just announced at. Uh, the AWS loft in San Francisco a couple of months ago. So they're really uh, adding a lot of interesting stuff. And so that's it. You can find me here on Twitter. And if anybody has questions, feedback, interested in collaboration, I'd love to hear from you. And thank you. Thank you so much, Susan.